Hello everyone, my name is Christian Eschbach, and welcome to another one of my album reviews. Okay folks, we're doing something a little bit uh, different out of my repertoire, or what I would, you know, most people would think I would listen to. Uh, Creed, this is not my collection through my purchasing, this is in a cl my collection through someone giving me their CDs. Um, whew, alright, so we got... Let's start with the band itself, all right? Uh, the album is My Own Prison. Uh, the band is Scott Stapp on lead vocals, Brian Marshall on bass, Scott Phillips on drums, Mike Tremonti on guitar and vocals. The album was produced by John Kerwig, uh, mixed by Ron St. Germain. Um, I normally don't mention the mixer. I'm gonna mention the mixer in this case because the mixer did a good job making sure I could hear the bass which is cool, uh, because Brian Marshall lays down some pretty cool bass stuff in here, actually. I was noticing on a couple songs. Um, so Creed, Creed takes a lot of crap, and I get it with the lyrical content why Creed takes a lot of crap. Uh, unwarranted, because, you know, just because a band has some <sighs> positive religious messaging, and that, that's how I would take it. Uh, doesn't mean that they're necessarily a Christian band. And just because they take, I mean, like, I mean, Metallica's got Creeping Death, right? That's purely a religious song. Four Horsemen, purely religious context. But no one accused Metallica uh, of being a Christian band in their first couple albums. Um, usually it's a lot easier to get branded as a satanic band, so that kind of worked against Creed, I guess. Um, all right. With this album, I honestly don't know which songs were singles, which songs weren't singles. I don't have the computer up in front of me. I don't have all those details in front of me and whatnot. But I will say that I knew most of these songs. Um... And I don't know why, because nobody in my house owned this. There was a Creed Greatest Hits. My ex-wife owned a Creed Greatest Hits album. Uh, now, musically, I'm going to say this flat out. If you like Alice in Chains, you should like Creed. There really isn't a good reason not to like Creed if you like Alice in Chains. They're not an Alice in Chains copycat band, but they definitely sound like Alice in Chains in a lot of ways. Uh, Scott Stapp's vocals specifically is where that Alice in Chains sound kind of breaks down a little bit. But there are a few songs, and I'm not the only one. I uh, was listening to the album while playing some Grand Theft Auto, and uh, the legendary Drucifer comes walking by, and he hears it, and he goes, is that Alice in Chains? And I go, no, dude, that's Creed. He's like, so what? Because, you know, that's kind of what it was. It was kind of like, so what? Um, and I'm not a big Alice in Chains fan. Sorry, I'm doing a little shuffling here. I'm not a big Alice in Chains fan. So for me, that kind of takes away from it. And it's not even completely Alice in Chains. It's very grunge. Like... There, this being called a post-grunge album is 100% accurate. This is 100% a post-grunge album because it is moving into a direction where you started getting with, uh, later on with, say, Nickelback, Sum 41, um, some of the other bands, Theory of a Dead Man, a lot of the other bands that are usually lumped into post-grunge uh, where they, they were going back more to a rock, hard rock kind of fundamental, a little bit less of a grungy, droney sound. Well, this is still pretty heavy on the drone sound, but it's, so it's got that grungy drone thing going on that I always complain about. Uh, I don't know how much of that was John Kerwig. I will say that there is some really good instrumentation in here that is kind of lost in the overall sound and overall production. Um, I, this, this album, I will say definitely has a very dated kind of sound, but it's a really good dated sound. Like it really sounds like a rock band from 97, um, really has that sound to it, but 
the the quality of it the you can still hear everything nice and clear through it and whatnot it holds up well that way the downside is is because it has that grunge droney kind of thing going on to it a lot of the songs kind of blend and seem very similar throughout it there's not a lot of real standout pop out differences throughout the album uh, most of the songs are just kind of like a mid-level tempo, which doesn't help either. I really think that uh, the producer should have maybe, you know, had them push the tempo on a couple songs a little bit, just to give it a little more energy, a little more vibe. Um, we're going to talk about the actual songs themselves, get in this real quickly. Torn opens up the album, not bad. Ode, not bad. Both of those, I'm pretty sure, got some radio airplay. My Own Prison, the album's title track, definitely got some radio airplay, which was, you know, cool that way. Uh, Pity for a Dime, I was kind of pleasantly surprised by when it popped up on the album, but it's not anything that really stands out to me. In America stood out more lyrically than anything. And it's your typical, you know, in America kind of song. Uh, the, I like the, okay, I shouldn't say typical in America because it's not a very, it would be more of an, a typical nowadays, not very patriotic kind of taking shots at America sort of thing. Uh, maybe in the same realm as, um, Oh, I can't think of the name of the song. Neil Young song. Uh, Keep on rocking in a free world. Except for without the tempo. Um, once again, lack of that kind of straightforward rocker tempo on this album is kind of the one thing that is missing. Um, Illusion is decent while the album's playing. Unforgiven was decent. Sister is cool. Uh, kind of perked up a little bit for Sister. Uh, what's this life for? I remember this one on the radio a lot, too. Uh, not a bad tune. Really isn't a bad tune. Uh, and then the album finishes off with one. Um, the drumming is cool on a few songs on here, and I'm going to be completely honest. I'm... I've looked at the, I'm looking at the tracks while I'm listening to the album and stuff like that. And I hate to say they don't stick a hundred, the titles of the songs just don't stick the greatest. Uh, My Own Prison, What's This Life For? I definitely recognize. Uh, the rest of them, I recognize the songs. I don't recognize the names of the songs. And that is overall the whole problem with this album is there's a lot of good cuts in here, a lot of deep tracks in here, a lot of really enjoyable tracks. And, you know, if I were throwing this song on, you know, like Saturday afternoon, something like that, you know, pre-warm up, pre-getting ready to rock out, it would be a cool album, you know, it's a kind of a morning album. I'm recording this, you know, before noon on a Thursday, you know, just finished listening to it right beforehand. That way it's an enjoyable album. I don't mind it. And would I recommend this album? Honestly, yeah, it's not a bad album. Like I said, if you like grunge, you like Alice in Chains, if you like grunge, but you enjoy quality vocals, okay, that that's the key difference here between Creed and most of the grunge bands is uh, Scott Stapp really can sing. He's got a really good voice. And I, if it wasn't for the fact that I find a lot of the Creed music so boring, as Scott Stapp's got a voice, I might actually kind of go after a karaoke because it's got some nice range to it, but he's got a good low end. Gives him a good, good spot to sing from. And lyrically, I mean, it's not a bad album lyrically. I get why so many people make fun of it make fun and say, you know, it's a Christian album and stuff. Well, it's a Christian grunge album. Yeah, like that makes sense. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Would I recommend this album? Sure. If you've never listened to a Creed album in its entirety, this is actually worth giving a good listen to as long as you're okay with the stuff you've heard before. If you really don't like the radio stuff that you've heard, then no, don't, don't listen to this album. 
Sorry, that's that, that going to be the case, because what you've heard on that on the radio from Creed is what you can expect on this album, okay? No surprises. The only surprise to me was listening to this album was how much they sound like Alice in Chains when I'm listening to the whole album. Um, and like I said, there's a couple good tracks on here that really pop out, but the problem is that the titles of the songs make it kind of hard, but it just it doesn't click for me. So take what you want from that. Uh, let me know what you think, folks. Comments below. Uh, I'd love to hear your opinions. Let me know how I'm downplaying it. Let me know what songs are standout songs for you. That way other people can see what are, you know, titles for standout songs to you. Um, like I said, I like In America. Sister's pretty cool. One is a good way to finish the album. Uh, My Own Prison's decent. Ode was cool. Sister, I mean realistically it's easier to say pity for a dime illusion and unforgiven kind of blend there you go the rest of the album's pretty decent okay done that's it let me know what you think comments uh there's also like button subscribe button bell for notifications uh link to twa which is the trampoline wrestling association please check that out and a link to patreon peace love take care